Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. So, in this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make a Roblox start screen GUI with the help things and blah blah blah. So, enough chit chatting and let's get right onto the video. So, as you know, a screen GUI is the buttons when you play a game. So, a game doesn't doesn't have a built-in GUI so you'll have to make the GUI yourself so first of all we gotta go to this starter GUI and add a screen GUI so this will be the parent so after adding a screen GUI you will need to add a frame and the frame you will need to resize it as big as the whole screen so um resize the whole white thing and we can customize the color i think i should go for something pastel pink to make it a bit aesthetic wait no no, no i should have clicked okay so i'm just gonna go for a pastel pink or a pastel orange theme okay so after that you'll go back to explorer and then from the frame add a text button you can just drag this text button so this is the first button and i think i'll add another text button for help play and help and now we're gonna rename the text to play as well so it will look like that right over here we can change the font i don't really know what font i want um you can just drag that and we can add the game title as well we can just add another screen gui right over here which is text label you can just add a big one right here and i guess that's it and for the borders i'll just put it as white and yeah it's really really simple you can decorate it if you want so we've got the label and we've got two buttons so oops i accidentally clicked that do, do not click that so now for the frame we're going to be adding a script to the play button so first we add a local script to the play button make sure it's a local script not a script because a local script only you can see the local strip or else other people playing the game will experience the same thing so no so first of all you'll need to add script dot parent mouse button parent dot mouse button one click enter and add connect yep it gives you it gives you some help things and function all right i guess that's it now you go enter so this first line of script is when you click the button and so the next thing will be script dot parent the parent of play is frame and the parent of frame is screen gui so it's parent again we want the whole screen gui to disappear later later and visible so visible is the visibility and equal false so it will disappear once we click it so i'm pretty sure confident that it works so i'm just gonna close this and we can give this game a go so we're just gonna click play so it's loading 
Okay, so the game is a bit um, unadjusted. I can adjust it later. So if you click play, it will disappear. Except the my game thing because I accidentally put it in the wrong file. So let's stop. We're just gonna put this text label thing in the screen GUI. Oh, I think it's already in it. We should put it in frame. All right. So now the play button is done. And now for the help button. Okay, guys. So we're going to be making a button for the help part. And we're just going to be adding another frame. Oh, wait. Another frame to frame. And I'm just going to rename it help. And I'm just going to resize it. Make it about here. Alright. And for the frame, I'm just going to make the border color a bit gray. Oh wait, sorry. It should be right over here. Gray. Oh wait, it's this one. Sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna make the border color gray. So now it's a bit gray, so it has a bit of outline. Now we're just gonna be adding a text. A text label. I'm just gonna um, add the text. You guys can add more text, but this time I'm just gonna be doing help. That's it. Oops, oops, what did I do? Okay, so help. Border color, white. Font. Size. And we're just gonna put it right over there so you guys can type what help things here since i'm just just doing this for a video now we're gonna be adding a text button and putting it right on the corner this will be the x text button oh no okay so it's gonna be a small box Maybe I'll just put it right on the corner. And it will be the color pastel red. It's really up to you. So we're just gonna bring it right over here. Copy the hex code. And just gonna copy it for the border part. Okay, and I'm just gonna put the text as X. So I'm just going to put it as X and make, change the font and make the size bigger so it looks like an actual X. All right, perfect. So now I'm just going to adjust this. Okay, so now we have the help page, text button, the text label, the help thing. And now we're going to be adding a script to the text button. So I'm just going to add a local script. Remember, we'll only be using local scripts in this videos. Okay, guys. So the local script will be script.parent.mouse button one click connect function. I'm going to remove that one. Okay, so now I'm just going to put script. So the parent script dot parent. So the parent of the local script is a text button and the parent of the text button is help. So both of them will get a false visibility. False. Okay, so after that, we're just going to text test the game by hitting play okay so now we have the play button it's a bit not adjust but when we click it yep it's gone 
and now after that we're just gonna change the visibility of the help frame into not visible and we're gonna add a code to this help button right over here so the help button is right over here so we'll add a local script I'm just gonna add a script script dot parent dot mouse click connect it's pretty much the same thing function delete this part and then I will put script dot parent the parent of local script is helped and the parent of help is um is frame and so we're gonna put help frame since it's gonna be the help frame and we're gonna put dot visible visible equal true all right so i guess that's correct and we're just gonna be test playing the game so guys once you test it when you click help there will be this help thingy then we can exit and if we click frame i mean if we click play we can finally play the game so yeah i guess that's it for today's video and if you like the video please leave a like subscribe and share this video and i'll see you in my next video bye